Hey hello guys welcome back in this video we will be seeing there is one new update on azure data factory on the pipeline side how we can debug and how we can uh, run our pipeline uh, with some inactive or active like how we can create a uh, a single or i mean one activity as a active and inactive suppose this is a pipeline right and here i can see we have multiple multiple act activities like we have lookup activity we have for each activity then inside it also we have some if else condition then again copy activity right now what i am saying to you that hey bro i need to debug it and you know i need to disable this lookup activity and then i have to only run this for each for each activity because of some debugging reason then how i could do that actually there is a option they have you know uh, they just launch it they just roll over to it you can see we have this activity state preview okay so by default it is active if you want to inactive this pipeline then you we can do this inactive right so let's see how we can do so let me create a new pipeline for you guys so that you will understand properly so here what i will do i will try to create an one activity that is called let's say set variable cool and here let me <coughs> also take this wait activity right now you see that we have this uh, wait activity then is set variable activity and set vari variable let me uh, you know add some variable so that it will not fail where go here go here go here and add some value sagar cool after that what will have what we have you can consider that we have a lookup activity just for the sake of understanding if we have a bigger picture then we'll know better right so here i will choose well, let's say i have this already present this excel data set right chalo now it's good now what i am saying to you ki hey i want to debug this pipeline and what i want to do i want to uh, i do not wish to uh, run this wait activity i want to disable it so what i can do i can go here and disable it if you can see that by default uh, this activity was this activity was active right and inactive means you can say that we can also set there the uh, the the status like whether you have to give the status escape failed or whatever right so we can give here uh, here wait act i mean uh, we can give here succeeded now if i run this see it's saying that it is not active so it will not run this i mean it will not run this activity so if you can see here that the set that variable activity has been run and then it skipped right if you can see that if i go to this input option also right and even though in the output option you can see that the activity wait is inactive and its status was set to succeeded so it is inactive it did not run actually and then here is the output let's say you know what if if i try to change this will it i mean will there be any uh, changes let's see if i skip it then we'll see whether this will work or not it will it won't work you know as per my knowledge it won't work so let me refresh it again then you can see it is inactive and it is just uh, saying that status okay you can see it is skipped this activity is skipped right now what if if i try to mark this as failure so if i mark this as failure then if i debug it then you can see also this activity did not run right this activity did not run because what i what i am saying ki this is failed now this is failed now so hence it is not proceeded to the lookup activity what else we have we have only these two and these three 
cool so if i make it succeeded so i am saying that we will not actually run this but what we will say ki we will skip this but it is showing that it is green right then only it will come to here if you say this field it will not triggered it will not run this pipeline this activity will not run but it will show the status or show the you know output as as it was failed now you know if i if i go to again i am i am telling you if i just go to here fail right and if i try to debug it then it will actually fail right and it will not go beyond this cool <coughs> and uh, let me refresh so that you will understand properly cool what's happening here now it failed then hence it is not working cool and likewise we have the status mark activity as skip so it skipped cool so if i run this oh sorry so you say it is skipped cool now what if if i try to uh create one more wait and put it over here now if i just cancel it and if i try to run this then we'll see whether this wait activity will run or not wait to activity will run or not this is also not working so what it is saying that hey everything is is skipped from here okay so i hope that you have understood and you you can say that where you want to put the status as uh, skipped as failed and succeeded see if you want to uh, run the pipeline to uh, to inactive this let's say this so it's better to use a, a, a successful or succeeded status so that every every pipeline should run now if you want to just particularly fail this pipeline and you know and if you just want to run until this then you can mark this as so um, uh, as failed and if you want to skip everything right you do not wish to uh, go ahead then you can mark this as skip right chalo thank you bye bye